Alright, so today is January 8th. Just woke up. I'll be preparing for an online class because I'm a teacher, like I said. I'll be teaching. Uh, today is a class day and um, I'll be teaching politics and governance. And in this afternoon, I'll be teaching philosophy. And I'm kind of preparing now for my online class. My laptop's behind and I scheduled already the class and the class code. Because history is there for a reason, okay? They are like the cornerstone of ourselves. Santay nagsimula. Okay? So we owe it so much in history. Okay? And if there are mistakes done in historical events, they are there for a reason no? in order for us to avoid the same mistakes that they did. Okay? It's the first thing. Second, we are also here to relate no? so that we can know what to do if the same thing happens. Okay? So, inisip nyo, boring sir, history na naman, okay? History na naman, pag-usapan natin mga hindi na nang exist na mga tao ngayon, okay? So, what if we talk about them? No? We are not just here to appreciate these people, events, circumstances. We are here to do much more than appreciation, okay? Okay, um, so I just finished my, well, one hour, 30 minute, almost two hours class of politics and governance. Um, I'm about to have my, well, breakfast as uh, I <laughs> finish uh, talking for almost two hours. And I am now going to prepare for my next class in the afternoon.
there is, sabi nga dito, there is a faulty assumption. Okay? Logically speaking, this is correct. It's logically sound, right? But factually incorrect. Ah, ano mag sabihin no? If you're going to put into consideration na lahat ng kotse na mahal ay Ferrari lang, that's wrong, right? Because madami pa ibang mahal na kotse. You have Tesla, you have Porsche, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, no? Dami, dami. Iba't yung pwedeng mahal na kotse. So, so, if you allow yourself only to believe that ang, ang, ang mahal lang na kotse ay Ferrari, then that's already a faulty assumption. When we talk about the doxa and the epistemic, okay, or opinion and knowledge, we are here to understand that although the dynamic between the two, no, or may magkakaibang yung dalawa, um, they go hand in hand. That's basically it, uh, kind of the end of the video now. Um, so that's my life as a teacher during the pandemic. We're in all academic endeavors are of course online or done online for that matter. And the, co the good thing about this is I have the comforts of my own room. After I teach, I just go straight to my bed, call my girlfriend, talk about my day, she'll talk about her day, video chat. I sleep whatsoever. It's a normal thing that would a normal person do after a class. And and uh, yeah, tomorrow's a weekend. Maybe I'll go to my girlfriend's house or she'll visit our house. So, you know, it's a usual thing that happens during the weekend. And then I repeat that process of, uh, well, and then I repeat that process of, um, well, uh, doing whatever I do during a, during a class. I'm sorry, this, just a disclaimer, uh, this is not a book review for, for some reasons that you were expecting a book review. If you're still here, I would like to thank you so much for watching my video and uh, expect for more, well, diverse content if, if you might want to say. Uh, anyway, um, I'll be doing music covers, not just book reviews and of course daily uh, vlogs. I mean daily in the sense where in what I do in a day so thank you for still being here i'll see you in the next video goodbye